Well, Leslie Gabola is with me today from Adapt to It, and 90% of the time, I don't know what she's going to talk about, <laughs> which is fine because it's kind of a fun thing we do. This time, I do, and it's a great topic. Welcome. Thank you. Always Thank good you. to see you. Thank you. And today we have on uh, Maria Cuisi, and you are a speech language pathologist, yes. right? So welcome. Thank you very much. So tell me what that is, because at first I hear that, and I'm thinking, maybe you're teaching another language or something. Oh, no. So <laughs> I work in the hospital setting, and okay. I work with adults who are recovering from stroke or head mm. injury or head and neck cancer. Um, the majority of the time, I'm treating swallowing disorders okay. that can result from stroke. Okay, like which is obviously a very serious situation. Mm. And uh, the main reason you're here today is that uh, one of the side effects of something like that is that not just speech, but people may have difficulty, as you said, swallowing, which means eating, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think for many people getting in the situation where they're just on some sort of a liquid diet or something, you know, they don't want to be, they don't want to go through that. No, and but, you're, yeah. you're here to give some suggestions, right? Right. So oftentimes if people need a modified diet texture in order to swallow safely, mm -hmm. it's, it's pureed food. Right. But if you can imagine a plate of pureed food yes. is, is not very appetizing. No, well, the mashed no. potatoes look good with the gravy. <laughs> but other than that, no. Yeah, yeah everything's so kind good. of the same shape and the same color. You yeah. probably can't even identify what the right. green one is. And, and people don't want to eat it. No. And uh, my light bulb moment was going to work with a gentleman at lunch. <clears throat> He lifted the lid off of his tray and he looked at it and he looked at me with a sad face. And I knew he didn't want to eat right. it because it looked like that. And I thought, there's got to be a better way. Right. And I realized, well, I like, I'm always changing around recipes to suit my taste. I can do better than that. So I did. Yeah. I went home and I started creating recipes. And it's the old saying that uh, at first you eat with your eyes. Exactly. And then the aroma. Do. Exactly. Yes. Those are the two key things. Taste is actually down the line, yeah. uh, you know. As we all know, when we have colds, something right. doesn't taste good. Well, your, your tongue's still operating fine, but <laughs> the brain's going, I'm not getting the full effect of this. Yeah, right. and they've actually yeah. done a study that shows that <clears throat> when, you're, when you visually recognize the food, yes, your brain said, sends a signal to your stomach to get ready to digest that particular food. Yes. So it's not just a saying, it's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what is your approach to this? Now, you have the cookbook, and we have it um, up on screen here. And um, I assume you're going to have this in your store? Yes, okay. absolutely. Right. So tell me how you came about this and what makes your approach maybe different than the pureed foods? Yeah, so I really wanted to pre prepare foods that were visually appetizing mm -hmm. and that were still the appropriate texture. Okay. And I just try to be creative with how I'm going about that. Okay, so, so when I'm looking at these uh, photos here, unfortunately we don't have these on screen, but they okay. look like that these are your foods, right? Yeah, and these are actually created from a, a, a chef who's a friend of mine who specializes oh, in molecular wow. gastronomy. So ah. he uses a, a special gel to create these items that are pureed, but they don't get dried out. They retain their color and their flavor, and you couldn't recognize it. So that you're able to offer someone a beautiful plate of food. And the they know fact that you eating. said that, you're working with that chef, that is actually a food trend. You know, there's places up in LA and New mm -hmm. York, very mm -hmm. uh, record, famous kind of places. And these, in fact, I've seen some of these chefs on the Food Network mm -hmm. and things like that. And they're doing that. They're taking familiar mm -hmm. flavors and presenting them a totally different way, but still has that familiar flavor right. and freshness, right? Mm -hmm. The other nice thing is that these can be eaten with a fork. Uh, ah. If you can imagine someone See, who's on a puree diet. One? They're only being able to eat with a spoon. But yeah, these are that's foods you can eat with a fork. I love that idea. And also finger foods like those carrot sticks or the sandwich or the strawberries. Someone may not be able to manage a utensil, right. but they can eat with their fingers, and that promotes Isn't independence. Isn't that more fun to eat with your fingers? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> you know, I eat, like I said, mashed potatoes with my fingers. Who needs a fork, <laughs> right? I'll do that when I come over to your house for Thanksgiving. Sure, okay? no problem. Um, no let's, utensils. <laughs> No utensils. Let's, let's uh, get into the book a little bit because what I want to ask, this is really created so if people have the ability to or a caregiver to do this at home. Correct. Right? We're not talking about buying pre-made food. Correct. Okay. Um, a blender is helpful, but you don't need a blender. That's okay. why it's called Think Outside the Blender. Yeah. Um, like that top right photo is of a mashed sweet potato that you can just lay out in a rectangle 
add whatever pureed you want in the middle, like an avocado or a yam, and then roll it up. I mean, this looks really good. It does. It does. Yeah. It looks like food you would eat when you're, you know, not even not feeling well, mm -hmm. or you know, just normal or going food. to one of those newfangled restaurants. That's right. right. Well, I was just telling her my, my mom just had some dental work, and the dentist said, you know, for the next couple of weeks you need to eat softer foods. And yeah. So luckily, she had a copy of the book. And Is this hard to do? I mean, when I'm, you know, when I'm looking at um, some of these things, they look like regular recipes to me. Very simple, uh, you know, like this one: lentil and ca cauliflower. Tower, You're right. <laughs> you know. I mean, seriously, it, there's nothing weird about this. I think if you, know? you have some basic cooking skills, that okay. would be great. But I tried to keep the recipes simple and as yeah. limited number of ingredients as I could. So. Well, I think, as I said, it um, maybe the person can do this on their own, depending on their recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have a caregiver, a yes. loved one, and um, very, you know, simple uh, cookbook here, meaning it's very well laid out, uh, fairly large print. And with photos of everything, again, that's important. Uh, it's also available in an ebook format if people prefer that. Oh, so. very good. That's good to know. And um, yeah, I like this, but you're selling these, right? I will, yes. You will. They, okay. they will she be in will. My store. Okay. You will. <laughs> I am. Okay. There is no, <laughs> you, there's no debate there. Tell us about these. Uh, these are <clears throat> dining scarves, and what I like about these is that they really promote a more dignified dining experience. I think of those folks in the skilled nursing facilities who they get wheeled up to the table, they get a terry cloth bib put on, oh, them, and they get yes. fed with a spoon. Yeah, it looks like they're going to the yeah. dentist. Well, yeah. who right? wears the, a bib and yeah. eats with a spoon? Yeah. Babies. Yeah. So these yeah. are not babies, these are adults. So right. in order to provide that more dignified experience. These are dining scarves and they're made with different fabrics and mm -hmm. colors. They're <coughs> stain resistant. They're very durable. I mean, they're this looks like a piece too, of clothing. So they they yeah. cover your legs. They cover your lap. I like this. You could wear it to a restaurant. Can I have one yeah. when, I, when I eat barbecue? Yeah. Because I, mean, I need <laughs> it. I need it for um, sure. These we are from a company called Diner Wear and she's got, you know, lots of variety. Yeah. And, and so this is, um, this is something that a third party makes. Yes. And then it obviously it comes in different colors and fabrics and, and I would assume all easily thrown into the washing machine. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this one's nice. This it's comes pretty. with a little yeah, clasp Yeah, they have, some, have a little yeah. hook. This one is wow. attached. So. This is, it's very decorative. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, that's very a, that's a good thing to have. Yeah. Now, again, something that uh, you're going to end up yes, carrying? Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> absolutely. And tell, tell us the story again. How did you come about this? Is someone you knew? I mean, you said you, you were there in the, um, in a, in the hospital, right? Uh, was, it, was that somebody you knew? or? How did I meet Kathy? I think someone that I came across online, I was looking for something like this yeah, to okay. substitute for the terry cloth bibs. Yeah, and, and I see here that you, um, you know, with the work with people with Parkinson's and yes. Alzheimer's. I mean, it may not be the fact that they had a stroke, uh, it could be that they just have difficulty with, you know, with get to a point in Alzheimer's. It's, right. Um, they may have even forgotten how to, how to eat. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I really like this. Thank you. And uh, Leslie's going to be uh, carrying these items. So if you want information, you can uh, go to Leslie. And also, um, if you want to contact Maria, you certainly can. It's kitchen, ki I'm going to, kitchenq11 at gmail. Dot com if you just want more information. And is this something you see uh, you might expand on, like creating more I, recipes? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Very good. Great to meet you. Great. Thank and to you have so you much. on today. Always good to see you. Thank of you. course. Great to be here. All right. You had a good uh, celebration? Yes. Your 17 yes, years? Very fine. Very, very good. Fine. All right. Always good. We'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, I